Hi, and welcome to our first Novatech how-to video. Today we're going to show you how to install a Corsair H100i Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. The main advantages of one of these coolers is that there's limited installation and maintenance for a sealed liquid CPU cooler, and there's huge benefits over a stock cooler, giving you a lower temperature, theoretically increasing product life and reliability, and they're normally quieter. This one is much quieter. If you're replacing an existing cooler, you'll need to reapply any thermal paste to ensure it doesn't overheat. In this video, we didn't reapply the thermal paste, as it had been applied a few hours earlier. For the benefit of the video, we've also removed the graphics card. This isn't normally required to be completed in order to install this cooler. Here we're using an Asus ROG board, which is using an Intel 2011 socket-based CPU. The work carried out in the following video was done on specialised anti-static flooring. Novatech recommends wearing an anti-static device whilst carrying out this installation. The first thing to do is line up the initial screws in the four holes around the CPU. These are referred to as standoffs. This can sometimes be a little bit tricky, but it should be simple to complete. Just ensure that you don't thread the screws. Then you take the radiator and line it up at the top of the case and just leave it there for the time being. The next step is to lay the water block over the top of the CPU, lining up with the screws you've just put in. Now take your other screws and attach this fan using the four thumb screws until they're tightly in. It's best to work diagonally here to even the load whilst installing it. Now take the radiator, line it up with the screw holes at the top of the case and insert the eight screws from the outside, again working diagonally to even the load. Now we have three cables to install. The first being the fan header cable, which goes from the radiator to the motherboard. On the motherboard, this will be listed as CPU fan. Next, we need to install the power cable, which runs from a SATA power connector from the power supply to the CPU cooler water block. Then finally, the USB cable, which runs from the board to the water block. On the motherboard, this is listed as USB header, which gives us the temperature data. Make sure to be aware of where your cables are when plugging them in. Keep your cables tidy as possible and you can use cable ties in places to keep it neater. As previously mentioned we removed the graphics card, but we'll reinsert that now. This will be covered in another video if you're unsure on how to do so. If you have any problems during your installation, revert to your installation guide you receive with the product, or you can contact our tech support team. You can see your range of Corsair CPU cooler in the link in the description below. We hope this has been useful. Stay tuned and we'll be back with more how-to videos.